Okay, if you are making a circular design, a concentric design, mandala, or whatever kind of circular design you're going to be making, you're going to need, probably need a compass or a traceable of some kind. So when you're using a compass, especially a standard compass like this, if you put the pencil in like as normal, uh, sometimes the pencil doesn't stay. Sometimes it's a little loose. So what you do is line up the points, this point and this point of the compass. And if you get a little piece of tape, and you wrap it around the pencil. Sometimes the pencil slides out a little bit, and then you're ready. Then you're ready to uh, to draw your circle. Before we draw the circle, we need to find the center of the paper. And a super easy way to find the center of the paper is to draw an X. So I'm just going to go from corner to corner, and I actually don't even need to go all the way corner to corner. I can just do kind of do a little a really light X right there. Turn the paper. Do another one right here. Just make sure the ruler is aligned corner to corner. So you don't have to actually draw the X the entire length. So I've got an X right there. So that gives me the center of the paper. So then I'm going to take my compass. And it's a lot easier when you're drawing a circle to actually turn the paper. So line up this part to the center of the X. And then just start turning your paper. And you can get a pretty good circle. If you want more circles, depending on the rubric, just do the same thing again on the inside or the outside of the, of the other circle. Notice I'm drawing very lightly, just in case sometimes compasses will slip. I'm going to do, I'm going to do another smaller one in the center here. Try to put the pressure more toward the center, or less on the pencil. That way it won't slip. So there we go. So three circles, perfectly centered, concentric design. Now, to add other line elements, one of the things you could do is you can, after you draw your X, you can measure on the side. And this is 12 by 12 paper. So I'm going to put a mark at six. Turn the paper, put a mark at six. Put a mark, another mark at six. And the last one at six. It's exactly half of 12. Then I'm going to connect those marks. very lightly and that gives me a, a sort of a, a cross line in the center there we go and that's a really good starting point for the design so I've got uh, I've got lines I'm gonna go ahead and finish this X here so you can see some more lines here but you may or may not want to do this depending on your design so I try I have uh, have lines here, 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 and here. And of course, I can also add another line right here. So I'm going to measure the distance between these two points. This is six inches between this line and this line. Of course, that's um, half of 12 and half of six is three. So I'm going to put a mark at three. I'm going to go around and do the same thing here. Put a mark at three inches. Three inches. But this depends on what kind of design you want to make. You may or may not want to do this. Um, especially if you're making an asymmetrical design that's, that's oriented to the center. But in case you want to make something symmetrical and you need a lot of lines to help you orient your design, and then um, making these marks will help you out a lot. So put marks at three inches all the way around the paper, three inches from the center to the, to the corner. So this is six inches. This is three inches, which is exactly half. Wait, it looks like it's off a little bit. No, that's three. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to go ahead now, and I'm going to put a put the ruler on one three-inch mark and on another one, and I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to go all the way around and align these three-inch marks literally with a line. And I'm drawing a line uh, across the paper to the opposite three-inch mark. Okay, so there we are. We have a, a concentric design with a pattern laid out, and you're ready to add designs on the inside. You can eventually, or at some point, you may want to erase some of these lines, depending on um, what kind of design that you're making. But this is a great start, and it gives you a really nice, consistent placement of space so you can add designs in and around your, your concentric.